Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. Uh, we are looking at a, a partially completed 5D chart. This is that guess and check table, the 5D process of solving word problems. And we're going to go backwards. Given some of the math, can we figure out what the word problem was? So this is a problem I'm taking from CPM course two. This is section 6.1.4 and specifically number 6-46. So it says Aiden found a partially completed 5D chart, right? So the 5D process, remember, is your, your define, do, decide, declare, uh, uh, prior, you're to um, you know, diagram, draw what you see. So here's what we've got, though. So I can see in my define, I've got a couple trials. It starts with 15. And then what the next, the next thing here, so this is kind of my guess, right? When we're doing a guess and check table, that 5D process, this is our start. So if I put in 15, the next thing it looks like you do is multiply that 15 by 2 and then also take that same 15 and add 2. So you got three different pieces here. So uh, and then you have the addition. So what we're doing over here is we're adding the sum and then we ended up with something that is too small. And so we have another trial. If it's too small, it means you got to guess higher, right? So in this case, it was an 18. Again, multiplied by 2 then added two to that same first initial guess, added each of those numbers, the 18, the 36, and the 20, and in this case, got it right. So it wants us to create a word problem that this might have come from. So I just I have three items. I mean, it could be somebody's ages, three different, three different people that um, we have person one, person two, person three, and we could describe their age based on person one. It could be a triangle. And with three sides, and we're talking about the perimeter of the triangle, the, at the sum of the sides. So let's let's do that one. I mean, you, you've got different different things to do here. So I'll say um, a triangle, a triangle uh, has a long side that is twice uh, the length of the short side. So what did I just describe? So this is the short side. So this is where I would call this the short side and it's twice the length. So that's the long side, right? So that's the short side. That's the long side based on what I'm seeing the math here. So a triangle has a long side that is twice the length of the short side, right? And then we would say the medium or the other side is two more than the short side, right? And where am I getting that from? From right here. So there's the short side. So this is the other or third side, however you want to call it, right? So the third side, I could have said the third side, the other side is two more than the short side. And then the last thing is, is what do we know? If I add them all up, I get 74. So that would mean that, um, the total perimeter is 74 units, whatever the units, you could say centimeters, feet, inches. And then it would ask, what is the length of each side, right? So the, your, your final question for the word problem is, what is the length of each side? That might be my finishing um, my word problem. And that's one example. As I said, it could be ages of, of people, could be other things that you would have to add up to find your answer. So what words would you put above the numbers in three empty spaces and then define parts of the table? So that's where I, I put the words. In this case, I put short, long, and other or third side, however you, you, you put it. I said that. But if you were doing with ages, it could be Janet and Billy and and Timmy or whatever they're whoever you're you're comparing ages with. Okay, what words would you put above the do column? Well, the do column in this case, I put the sum, but specifically for my problem, I would actually put a perimeter. Okay, sum or perimeter is what you're doing. Okay, all right. There we go. Hope that helps.